Hi eTalkers, this is Katie here with Avery and we're going to be breaking down all the fall TV premieres. Obviously, a lot of them came out last week. What was your favorite premiere from this last week? I was definitely most excited for Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy, definitely. 13th season? The 13th season. As like a Grey's fan, how was it kind of coming back into it? It was definitely what I wanted because now that they've killed off most of the characters, especially the Derek Shepard, um, it was definitely... <laughs> It was definitely what I wanted to see, definitely kept me on the edge of my seat and it's still, there are still the characters that, you know, really are heart wrenching and like I, I was definitely you excited to care. see. I yeah. still care, I still want to keep going, I yeah. can't quit now. No, I would definitely have to say that my favorite premiere was the This Is Us premiere. It's from the creator of the film Crazy Stupid Love, so Love obviously he's known for his like Crazy plot twist, everyone was teasing a huge twist that obviously came with the end of the episode, no spoilers, but like everyone I know was like, I was sobbing, I was in tears. Um, it features Mandy Moore and Milo Ventimiglia, aka Jess Mariano from Gilmore Girls, Love My Life. Right, yes, Love yes, him. yes. And so it was just a lot and it was very exciting and it kind of has filled the parenthood hole in my heart, so I'm very excited to see mm -hmm. where it goes. That being said, not every show was great. What was the biggest disappointment for you? The biggest disappointment for me was definitely Notorious. I'm a okay. huge ABC, like sh Thursday night show, Sunday night show, so I Grace, like Quantico, obviously. you know, Notorious, Scandal, all of that. And, you know, I'm upset that Scandal's not coming back till January, so I was so excited for this new sexy hot show to yeah. come out. The kind of Scandal replacement exactly, for the time being. Exactly, for the time being. And Notorious just did not have it. It was not suspenseful. It was confusing. I don't yeah. understand which character was like doing what and how Relating it was where. supposed to like play out. And I was really disappointed with it. Yeah. I I've heard mixed things. Mm -hmm. I was pretty confused. I didn't know it was based on a, on real people and a I real didn't story. And I was like, what? Why is it this confusing? If it's based on it's real based life, on true. what? Yeah, exactly. We have some reality TV shows coming yeah. back. Survivor. 33 seasons strong, <laughs> but what was actually crazy about this season is for the first time they had to evacuate, evacuate. for a night. I, um, in reality, am a huge Dancing with the Stars fan. We just had the first el elimination, mm -hmm. and Jake T. Austin, you know, go Diego, go. Um, uh, Wizards of Waverly the Place. Fosters the Fosters from Freeform. <laughs> now Freeform, yes. He was the first one voted off. That really surprises me. Also, what they did on Dancing with the Stars is they all wore lock D shirts, like with hearts oh. around them. And they because did you because hear about of, the first? Yep. Yeah, the premiere of Dancing with the Stars. Ryan Lochte, a protester, came out at yep. it on the stage. So yeah, who knows lots, if that was like real? Lots or not. of happening. I mean, sometimes these reality shows you forget about them, forget about them. They go on so long, but it oh, seems yes. like. They're all spicing things up a little bit. Oh yeah, there's always something. There's but I'm very I'm very excited to see where TV's going this yes. fall. There's lots of good shows, lots of not so good out shows out there, but you know we'll be talking about them all on eTalk.